Are you surprised like uh, guys like Mick Foley and Brian Pillman went on to be uh, as successful as they were? Yep. Mick Foley, to me, didn't know his ass from a hole in the ground, but later on what he did is he put everything he had into it. And I give him credit for that. But my God, the stuff that he did was so stupid it didn't make a damn bit of sense to me. Right. You know, he just kill himself to go ahead and make people see a big, uh, a big killing. How's that? Uh, he was a nice enough kid. I remember him asking me if he could stay in my hotel room. I said, no, get your own goddamn hotel room. But he had no money. And uh, I think at several different case, uh, several different times, I think he just slept on somebody's floor. But I wouldn't even let him in my room. I said, get your own goddamn room. Huh. But then he made it big time and uh, so right. I didn't dislike him. He was an okay kid. And he learned a little bit, but it wasn't the type of wrestling that I would appreciate, you know. What about The Undertaker? A lot of people said that you had him in, in the company at one point. What the hell was his what was the name before that? Mark. You mean Mark? Yeah, what did I call him? Uh mean Mark, I think it was. He's Mark a big Howard. kid, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I might have talked to him about being kind of like Johnny Valentine, if I got it right. I think, because he was a big kid and all that, and I said, I got an idea, and I wanted, I think he's the one that I wanted to write and make like Johnny Valentine, where he wouldn't get real carried away with all the crap that he did, but he'd just do good, solid stuff. Uh, and then I wasn't in charge anymore, or he uh, was shipped out, or whatever the hell it happened to be, I don't remember. Okay. Were you surprised when uh, Jim Cornette and Stan Lane quit? To tell you, I don't remember when the hell it was anyway. Okay. Uh, Jim Cornett was, uh, you know, all right. Uh, he even had a few ideas, I think maybe once in a while. Uh, Stan Lane was just a young kid. In fact, I th told you already, Stan Lane and the other guy were the ones that, I think, are the ones that beat us. Maybe I got those names wrong, I'm not sure. Right. Okay. But anyway. Is it true that a lot of the younger guys were demoralized after you squashed Tom Zink to Vader? After what? After uh, Tom Zink got squashed by Vader. Uh, uh, the locker room. Tom Zink got was, squashed uh, by Van Vader? Right. He was the Z-Man, I believe. And uh, What happened? I think Vader went up and squashed him pretty much, and a lot of the guys in the locker room who were his size figured that, you know, they were never going to get the big push or anything like that because of their size, and that you were, you know, booking the big guys pretty much instead of the, the smaller type guys. Which, What's the theory that you say you got? There was, there was, all right, let me, let me repeat the question. <laughs> is it true that a lot of the younger guys, maybe you don't even know about it, but is it true that a lot of the younger guys were demoralized after you squashed Tom Zink to Vader? Okay. To be honest with you, I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. That goes back to the first question you asked. You said, are you trying to get rid of the younger guys? Right. Why? Okay. Were they worth a shit? Depends who. So. Well, I mean, if they were good. So you kept them in. Uh, if they weren't worth a shit, I wouldn't have used them to begin with. Gotcha. But if they were good, why would I want to? Did I get? Did I kill Tommy Rich? No. Well, how you come? <laughs> Why would I kill these guys and don't kill Tommy Rich? What did Tommy Rich have? He didn't have any kind of a body. Good-looking guy, I guess some girls would say. Right. But there was nothing about the guy that would make him be a wrestler. So if you're telling me that somebody else, like a Tom Zink or Wealth, I was killing this guy, what the hell? Why wouldn't I kill Tommy Rich? Right. So the idea and the theory is sitting is is in the minds of. Some of these guys that don't know their butt from a hole in the ground. 